Breaking news this morning, a military official says a U.S. Navy warship sailed near a disputed island in the South China Sea. Now, China claims these waters. The U.S. disagrees, and this comes just hours, of course, before President Trump speaks with the leader of China, Lieutenant Colonel Rick Francona, joining us now. He's a CNN military analyst. Colonel Francona, thank you so much. First of all, sure. surely this is going to come up in that conversation that the president's going to have later today, do you think? Uh, actually, I, I'm not sure that it will. Uh, we conduct these operations all the time. Uh, we try to make them fairly routine. Anytime there is a, a, a claim that we don't recognize, we generally send either aircraft or, or Navy warships into that area. But we, we are very scrupulous about maintaining uh, the proper you know, international protocols. We don't sail into waters that we don't recognize. So uh, we're just telling the rest of the world, we're telling the Chinese, that we don't recognize your claim to these waters and we're going to demonstrate our right to be there. Not only our right, but anybody's right to be there. Uh, we try not to make these provocative, but they can be. And, it, and, it, and at times, it has led to military confrontation. Well, it's the second time uh, that this has happened since the president took office. And I, I understand this is a guided missile destroyer based in Japan and it was trailed by, uh, by a Chinese warship. Is that common? Uh, oh, of course, yes. And, and uh, but, you know, and I, I say this, we try to make this routine, but, you know, the timing of this uh, cannot be overlooked. Uh, you know, we're having these conversations with the Chinese right now about North Korea, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, the president is about to in, engage in some conversations, you know, with the Chinese president. So, you know, one has to think, uh, are we coordinating all this together? Is this one big master plan we're doing? One would hope so.